Guys, it is time for another recap of Got Sevening Plus, episode number two. Hello, 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 this is Ashley, and you guys are watching Ashley D Reactions, and I am doing another recap of God Sevening Plus. Um, a few of you guys wanted me to do another rea uh, recap since I did it one for the last one, since not everybody can kind of watch it. And obviously it's not the same thing, but at least you can kind of get an idea of what kind of happened on there. Um, and it seemed to be pretty well received, so I am doing another one for episode number two. This time it was the MV shooting, um, so the MV shooting and photo shoot and jacket shooting as well. Um, it, I think it was mainly more so the jacket shooting, but we did definitely get some of the outside, the beautiful outside, um, but we didn't get a whole lot. And J Bum even said at one point, it's just like, it was so cold that I kept frowning and they're probably not gonna use that much. And they didn't use that much from it. Um, they mainly focused on the indoor shoot. I don't know if you know, that's the one with the, that everything's been like the red tint where there's super like, oh my gosh, why are they all wearing like chokers and belts and trying to kill my soul? Um, but. Yeah, it was really funny. So let me just hit some of the highlights that I picked out from the episode. Um, so <laughs> the first thing was, so j kind of kicked off the episode and he was talking in the camera and yu was being super playful. He just kept walking back in front in front of the camera like, oh, and j even pointed out, he was just like, oh, there's a yu gi -Oh, a passerby going through. But you could tell that yu gi -Oh kept, like, he would keep, he did it, like, three times. And he, like, they were in quick succession. And, like, definitely in the last two, you could, as yu gi -Oh was walking by, you could see him cracking up. Like, he was just messing with j -Bomb, And it was just really funny to watch. Um, they're precious. yu gi -Oh is a playful little child. I kind of died because also in J-Bomb they, they showed the full shot of him with that belt in the red and he just was just holding it and I was just like, nope, please reel this back in. I cannot handle it. The way he was just like playing with it, I'm, no. No, J-Bomb, please stop. <laughs> also, Mark was just really, really super adorable because he was like on one of Mark's like hyper, like really excitable kicks that he was going on. So he was really talkative and just being really adorable and cute. And I was just like, oh, Mark, I love it when you're like this. You're just so precious and adorable. And I can temporarily forget that you're a fuckboy and you're just so cute because he's so gorgeous. And he is so gorgeous. Like it's it's kind of obnoxious, but Mark is just a, pre he's, he's precious. So yu gi was kind of like the highlight because he just kind of kept popping up and being just adorable. Like he's just a little dork and it was just really funny because there was one point where he was doing, um, when he, they were talking and um, <laughs> he was just making these faces and just being, being cute yu gi and just being precious. <laughs> and I just, I couldn't, I needed to have him stop. But he also was talking about um, when he was, when he's dancing sometimes, like, I don't know if you've seen the Instagram video of him dancing <laughs> where um, Jackson and um, Jin Young were sitting there just like, hmm. <laughs> And it was, it was really funny. And he did really truly refer to them as Wang Gay Pak Gay. And actually, they referred to themselves that way pretty much through the entire episode. It's kind of, it was kind of adorable that they truly referred to themselves as that, like, legitimately. And it was just really adorable. And it's just hard not to love them. But it was just kind of funny to find out that that deadpan look that they have is pretty standard fare for them. And then the other big thing that I'm, the last big highlight that I will mention, there were other great moments, especially with like Bam and Jin Young, and Jin Young being ridiculous and Bam being adorable and sitting on his phone and just a bunch of great little moments. But the last big moment that like really got to me was um, during Young Jay's talk when Young Jay, he was going on about how you shouldn't drink too much coffee. But what got funny, because at the end of that little talk, he started talking about how his goal is to have an ab. <laughs> not abs, not multiple, not the full six pack, just a single ab, just one. <laughs> he only wants one, that's his goal. And it was just really funny because Young Jay is just a little weirdo and he's hilarious and he love him. He's just, his sense of humor is ridiculous. And I just, uh, he's, <laughs> He's too funny, and now I'm just stuck thinking of just a single ab. <laughs> but yeah, apparently his goal is to get abs, which is very interesting, Young Jay. I don't need you wrecking me either because you're already so gorgeous. But yeah, it was another really good episode. 
God 17 Plus is definitely, definitely worth the watch. Um, I enjoy it at least. Um, and yeah, that is everything that I'm going to talk about in this recap. Like I said, there's other stuff that happened, but those were kind of like the big moments that were the funniest to me or the most that stuck out in my mind. So, oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> there were some really funny Yog Bam moments when they were just kind of dancing and being goofy. And those were really funny as well. But okay, that's the last. That is the last of it. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video and you'd like me to do more recaps, let me know in the comments down below so I know to keep doing this and make sure that you like the video and I will see you guys next time. I'm out.